Hi guys, uh, today I'm doing a uh, little unboxing video and a test of a pinpointer that was sent to me by um, Amazon to review and try out. This one's got two back battery covers, um, which I'll show you once I uh, open it up and get into the review. Uh, supposedly four modes um, and it's IP68 rated, uh, apparently up to 50 meters underwater. Here's our little package here from Amazon Prime. So I'll get this um, opened up and yeah, bring you back in. Slip handle, flashlight, pointed tip, 50 to 60 meters diving, two kinds of battery covers, so that's pretty cool. Alright, we'll get this thing opened. Manual, which I will have to read. It's a very thick rubber washer. Got the um, lanyard stretchable to put on your belt. And yeah, that's a pretty intense um, tip on that. Super light. It's obviously a function button here. Take that end cap off. And they've actually supplied a battery. Just a heavy duty. But I've got a uh, opened alkaline. So we'll pop that in. Use that um, standard cap for now. Turn this thing on. Okay, I've got this set up now. Um, as you can see on the sheet, I've got uh, it in centimeters from zero to 10. And up the top there, we've got inches. Oh, that just picked up my ring. Um, so one to six inches. I uh, would be very surprised if it picks up the, um, at six inches. But anyway, we'll um, start with a New Zealand silver sixpence. Quite a small coin. This is a static pointer as well, so you don't have to move. So I'll just come in real slow and see what we can get. Okay, so that's not too bad. Oh, 
front, so that's um, around about six centimeters or two and a quarter inches for a sixpence. That's pretty good. Next up, we've got a New Zealand silver shilling. A bit bigger coin. It's actually similar, it's about six centimeters. We now have a New Zealand one dollar coin. Very similar, six centimeters or two and a quarter inches again. We now have a New Zealand two dollar. Okay, a little over six centimeters. One penny. That's around about the same. That's um, just a little over six centimeters. Okay, nine carat gold ring. See how we go. Okay, so that's a pretty solid two inches. It's not too bad for um, sensitivity. Yeah, that's uh, a good two inches on the side scan. We'll go with the shilling. around about the same, a couple inches. One dollar coin. Definitely two inches. Two dollar coin. It's like two and a quarter inches or five and a half centimeters. New Zealand one penny. Actually just under two inches there. And the nine carat gold ring. Okay, so that's about four centimeters or close to an inch and a half. So not too bad in the way of sensitivity. Just turn that off. Pretty nice machine. Um, I'd like to field test it and obviously test its uh, waterproof. But anyway, as I mentioned earlier on, we've got the two caps. Let's pop that battery out for now. So this is what they're calling a field cap. So that's your one with your holes in. Just probably gives you a little more volume. And that's your waterproof cap. So if you're doing anything at the beach or diving, etc., I'd probably keep this one on just to keep dusting it out. As you can see, there's pretty decent holes through there. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the um, sensitivity of it. It's a nice little machine. You can see there on the end, it's got this blade for scraping. About a 65 degree pointing blade and yeah really nice light good grip so yeah 
I'll give that a try and um, they're around about $50 New Zealand on Amazon so keep an eye out for it I'll um, test it out in the next few hunts and see how good it is and yeah if it's any good then um, go for gold jump on Amazon and purchase one all right thanks for watching